What's going on, everyone? I'm just going to be going over a few things here with the Venus flytrap. Uh, I'm no expert on this plant, but uh, I've had it for about six months now, and when I got it, it looked like it was on uh, death's doorstep. So uh, here's a few things that I've done and uh, have been successful with uh, raising this plant here. Um, first thing is, make sure you read if you end up purchasing uh, these plants. Just kind of read up on what they call for because they're different than uh, a lot of your other household plants. So uh, first thing I'd start with your soil. Get something that supports like a carnivorous plant soil. Uh, so it's going to be very bland. It's not going to have minerals or uh, fertilizer or anything like that in it. Uh, this is what I use. I got it from Amazon. I'm sure there's other plenty of other brands and everything like that out there that it's just as good. And so another thing is I leave this thing outside. I live in the desert. Um, I did get a little bit of yellowing on these uh, really hot days. I got up to hundreds and I'm not always home to water it but it seems to be rebounding now. Uh, you can see the stems down there are starting to get a lot redder now and the uh, inside of the leaves here are starting to redden up again so that's a good sign. Uh, you can see some of these have caught uh, a few bugs. This one here is closed. I believe this one caught the, the biggest bug of the week and uh, so I I've, I've haven't had to really deal with feeding this thing for I think since like after the first week I had it really to just kind of show you in comparison how big this is getting size of a quarter about and this leaf here is about the same size I think this one's kind of uh, run its course and once you get to they uh, close about 10 times or so they're on their way out and they'll start uh, sprouting new leaves as you can see down there there's one coming up so brings us on to the next thing here type of water to use it's fine if it gets rained on rain water's just fine but what you want to be using is distilled water because it has no minerals everything's been filtered out of it uh, if you don't use that you will most likely kill your plant quite quickly and see for the last things for supplement food this is what I've been using these meal worms um, it's kind of difficult to get these plants to take them sometimes I mean you can get it to where you know you get the mouth closed but sometimes it won't stay closed so you kind of have to tickle those fine hairs in there and that'll emulate a creature struggling to get out and it'll stay closed but yeah uh, I've only used these like one or two times and uh, it seemed to work okay so uh, I think I'll stick with those once that I have to start bringing this plant in all right well I think that's it for uh, everything that I know about this plant just keep it as simple as possible you know use the right soil and water and uh, keep it outside when you can and it pretty much takes care of itself. Alright, thank you all for watching. Take care.